I'm Father Phil Smith. I serve as Director of the Office for Diocesan Priestly Vocations, which means I mentor our seminarians, 14 seminarians who are currently studying to become priests in Northwest Ohio. And then I work with other young men who are thinking about the possibility that God might be calling them to become a priest. To me, vocation is about commitment. It's about dedicating your life to someone or something in really a um, full way, a way in which you give your entire self. Um, so in marriage, you're giving yourself entirely to a spouse. In priesthood, we're giving ourselves entirely to God's people, to bring the sacraments to them, to teach them, to mentor them, to lead them closer to God. I joke that I knew what I wanted to do when I was in second grade. That's when I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of my life was second grade. And that was to become the quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. But honestly, the first time I thought about priesthood, well, I was probably in fourth or fifth grade. It was one idea amongst many other things. Um, and the idea was still there when I went to high school. In high school, I had dreams about doing a lot of different things, a lot of different careers as I visited colleges. And the idea of priesthood never went away. I actually remember a priest setting me down and telling me you should think about going to seminary when I was a senior in high school. I said, no thanks. Didn't go to seminary, went to college. And when I was in college, there was something inside of me that just didn't sit right. I was really enjoying what I was studying. I had friends. My future looked bright, but there was something missing. I felt like there was something more I was supposed to be doing. And I eventually realized that maybe it's this priesthood thing, this idea that's not gone away for a lot of years. I think I imagine God's voice to me, God's call would be like something dramatic, voices from the sky or something. And I realized that it was this gentle tug on my heart to consider this my entire life. It was a consistent call. And it was actually, in the end, a really clear call. At the time, though, I just thought, well, maybe, maybe I don't want to do this. Um, I'll have to give up getting married, which is part of my dreams. Um, I want to have a family. So that was probably the biggest challenge for me, was to say, am I able to give this up? Am I willing to give this up? Um, and so I had to wrestle with that a lot. Um, I went to a priest once, and I was kind of in crisis, trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do with my life. And he taught me an eight-word prayer that really kind of changed my life. It was very simple. Lord, help me to want what you want. And so I'd pray that over and over again. Lord, help me to want what you want. And the more I prayed that, the more I realized that I need to consider priesthood, that God knows better than I do how to make me happy and how I can find happiness in life. And so I decided I need to give his plan a try. And so I eventually went to seminary. And there I experienced peace. I experienced peace in my heart that this is where I was really supposed to be. I still went back and forth, deciding do I want to do this or not? Can I give up the things you need to give up to become a priest? Um, but it was from that time of praying, Lord, help me to want what you want, I realized I have peace doing this. And that's what kind of confirmed it for me that, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what my call is. It was that interior peace. I had several priests who encouraged me along the way when I was trying to figure out whether I was supposed to become a priest or not. I would go to them for advice. And what I really appreciated is they never pressured me to become a priest. They always said, you have to do what God wants you to do. You have to look for God's plan and to do that. But being able to talk to them about the sacrifices they made to become a priest was really helpful to help them or help me understand that you can actually find joy in this life. Because I was worried I'd be miserable as a priest. Because I was giving up my plans. I was giving up my plans for a wife and um, a future and all of this. And so to hear them tell me, no, like I found meaning in my life as a priest. This is a very beautiful way to live your life if you're called to it. That really helped me a lot. Every vocation is a call to serve other people. So I think for high school students, to practice serving other people today is really important. Because whatever God's vocation he's calling them to is one of service. So whether it's a married person, a single person, a religious sister, a priest, it's a call to serve other people. So the more we can become unselfish and wake up every day saying, how can I help other people? That's how we're gonna figure out a vocation. That's really what our vocation is right now, is to wake up every day and say, how can I help other people? And so if we do that through high school and then after high school, we're gonna figure out the big picture and what God's big call is for us in the end.